Are the Micah LT comparisons fair? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, I tweeted the other day. I said nine sacks in six games. And Because I, I, I threw out his name as in, in the MVP race, right? I said, yeah, man, man. we're talking defensive player, Rick of the year, defensive player of the year. D-Roy, D- D-Roy, I'm saying, well, maybe we ought to look at the MVP here. This, if, if the quarterbacks are this valuable, and you have nine sacks in six games, and, 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 and I cheated them because really nine and a half, I was just trying to do simple numbers for the, for the general public to understand. So if you got nine sacks in six games, and it's really nine and a half sacks, then you say, okay, what if I had – so you go three times that, it was just 18 games. We really played 17 games, but just to make it easy math, <laughs> man, you're looking at 27 sacks. That's MVP-type stuff. That's MVP-type stuff when you extrapolate it out. And it's really nine and a half sacks. That's it. And, and, and now with this package we just talked about, this dude could go on a run if we – that's why I said I'd rather play that defense all game. Let's just deal with it. Let's just line them up like that, put five across, and everybody go. We'll, I mean, we'll tackle the runner. We'll tackle the run on the way to the quarterback. <laughs> I, I, I believe we can get some of that. And, I, I, and I'm telling y'all, look out because that's going to be a big part of it. Absolutely, he belongs on the LT calendar. And, 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 and if he keeps going like this, I'm serious. He solidifies himself as an opportunity to go and get on that MVP race. What if he continues to get these kinds of sacks now that we've introduced this package? I, I, I want to see that going up, not down. Jerry told us yesterday the defense right now is better than the offense. Can this defense carry the other side of the ball if they continue struggling like this, carry them deep into the playoffs? That, that, that what I saw... That what I saw the other day can, can carry a team. Can carry a team. Now against you, you Washington. Too. Yeah. Against, against the rest of this against the rest of the season. Against the rest of this season. And get us healthy and get us ready to go into the playoffs where things are going to get a little tougher. You know what I'm saying? That then then then, then you got to everybody has to carry their own load with the defense, ooh, with the defense uh, having a possibility to be the star of the team. We started out thinking this was going to be the offense. The offense was going to be the star. But now the defense has that chance to be a star, be the star of the team, which will blow things out the water. If you can get to a point where you are what I call 3FG, three-phase great, then you head into the other word called dynasty. <laughs> three oh. FGs. Oh, all my. three phases are great. That's how you head in the dynasty area. I'm not saying we're there. I'm just telling you what it takes to get there. You see what I mean? We got a lot of credit back in the day for our offense, but we had a great defense. The defense was real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and special teams with Kenny Gano, they were real. Everybody. We made stars on special team players. You know what I mean? That that that's what I that's what I mean when I say the three F G three phase great. You a three F G three phase great team, then you hit the dynasty. I'm not saying we're there, but what? I believe we got an offense. We get right. We got a defense. Let's start doing those special things on special teams. But how? What's wrong with the offense? What's wrong with the quarterback? How do they get it right? What are you saying? Well, Jim, Jimmy talked to you. Listen, even when we see Aaron Rodgers struggle or Tom Brady struggle, the greatest that ever played this game, the thing we go back to is we got to get him some support. We got right now, just what Jimmy was talking about. Defenses are able to do a lot of things that bring a lot of people up in the line of scrimmage. And Dak's trying to discern and decipher what he sees. And then everybody's dropping out. You don't know who's dropping out. You got to try to peg everybody who's dropping out, figuring out who's dropping out. And then the, the areas they drop in, the normal drops, they're mixing up their drops, you know, where they're supposed to drop. So that's trying to figure that out. Now, what Jimmy means when he says a good run game makes that easier, so, dude, dude, you can't start dropping out of there so fast. You got to make sure that he ain't hitting that ball off before you start dropping off. You know what I mean? Because uh, the defense, so the defense starts spending more time trying to stay up on the line of scrimmage, trying to figure out just a run. And that little second, that little second longer, that can discern it, and he can get rid of it. You see, that that's what the running game does. 
to any defense, to every defense. That's why no matter how great the quarterback is, you've got to have some type of a threat of a running game or you're going to be in trouble. Ask Buffalo. <laughs> you think he's healthy? You, you think you think Dak's health is an issue at all? I I, I do. I think I, I I said this when he came back, and, and I didn't want to harp on it because I, I, I we need him on the field more than more, more than anything. But but I thought his gates were different. I, I think he's healthy, but like any human, maybe hesitant because mm. of what he's already gone through. You know what I'm saying? So healthy is a structural thing. That's a structural thing. That means structurally, I am fine. I believe structurally, he is fine. Mentally, there's still things to overcome. Do we rave and we deserve, and he deserves us raving about his comeback and how he's played in the comeback? But it doesn't mean that it doesn't mess with his head. The reality or the thought yeah. of going back to it, because I know how much it messed with my head. After I came off that knee surgery, the reality of thought of possibly having to go deal with it again. 